Welcome to this video on investigating reflection and refraction from different materials, which is an AQA required practical for the physics. Um, so I'm going to be using a ray box and a slit and a power pack with which to power that. I'm not going to bother showing you that. I'm sure you know how those work. Um, and basically I'm going to be quickly demoing what to expect from this practical, what results you should get um, and, and how we can use them. So I'm going to start by drawing round my block. This is a Perspex block. I'm going to start by drawing through those. Um, and then I'm going to put on a normal line. Now normal is just a um, dotted line at 90 degrees to my object. So there it is, I've just put it in. That's going to give me uh, something to aim at with my beam of light. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. There we go. Um, so I'm going to shine my beam of light and what I have to do, table leg in exactly the wrong place, I have to try and shine my light. That is perfect actually. Um, so hopefully you can't quite see it very well on here, but I'm going to put a cross on my ray um, in two different places on my incident ray. Uh, so I can mark where it goes in. And very faintly, just here, there is a reflected ray. There is light reflecting off of uh, my Perspex block. We can also see over here what's called an emergent ray, and I'm going to mark that on as well using just two crosses. Now, if they ask about inaccuracies for this experiment in your exam, um, making sure these crosses is right in the middle of the ray is actually very tricky to do. So it does lead to some inaccuracies in your experiment. Um, so, I now have this set of marks on my paper, uh, and I'm going to line up my ruler along those lines, making sure I always put in arrows to show the direction of travel. So that was my incident ray, and this is my reflected ray. Okay, so I'm just going to label this one I, hopefully we'll be able to see that, and this one Ref, actually that's not work is it, because reflection and refraction start the same. So I'll have to do it fully. Um, so there's my reflected ray. Um, and then I'm going to get my refracted emergent ray out here. And then to track the path through the block, I can just join up those two lines here. So this was with perspex and that's my emergent ray now we are now going to have a look and see what happens if we use a glass block instead so we have bought some glass blocks which are exactly the same size which helps us a lot it's very slightly smaller but pretty much exactly the same um, so what I'm going to do now is use a different color um, for the glass block going on top. So I'm going to shine my ray of light on exactly the same path so it hits that normal like that. Oh, it's not quite there. Come on, do it right. Do it right. Don't get in the way. There we go. So you can see or maybe you can't, I don't know how good my camera is, that the reflected ray is on exactly the same path. Okay, I'm talking exactly the same path. They overlap exactly. However, the refracted ray, if I mark these ones in purple, is slightly off. It's not in quite the same position. I might move that block. So this time... Sorry, there's somebody at my door, one moment. So there you can see we actually have a different place for refraction. Da, 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 da. So our refraction here is different for perspex and for glass. Reflection is exactly the same because the law of reflection is that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection, and that is true for any substance where the light is reflected off. 
However, the angle of refraction is different for different substances. Remember, we always measure um, our angles to the normal. So you can see that we have two different angles of refraction here for glass and for perspex.